Hi Leo Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Pimp Carrot 144, very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Leo. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a six card spread. I've already pre-shuffled the deck and we're all set and ready to go. I will mention that um, for this round of readings, we're doing polarity energy. So for you, Leo, your polarity energy is Aquarius. Their color representing, um, being represented by the color blue, excuse me. Um, so I did channel this background here for you. MTV may be relevant. Music, television. I was going for more of the astronauts. And the representation, the cool ass representation of the the astronaut in in this background here, um, for the Aquarius vibe and just being ultra galactic, always being on a spaceship, and that's it. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. See a little string there. Your first card, and I'm not taking reversals. The end. <laughs> That's the end of your reading, Leo Moons. Oh my God. Uh, four of Wands here. 11 11, make a wish. This is union. This is marriage. Partnership. Strong agreement. Great camaraderie. Harmony. Look, it's so pretty. I love this little floral arrangement here. This is portal energy here too, so I'm just getting more of the uh, the Aquarius energy that's coming through. Not to take away from you at all, because you got some super spacey galactic stuff going on for yourself here too. Um, I was just saying this before I started your reading, and just how outer spacey, like a lot of your readings, tend to come out um, at times. Just it, it's super awesome. So. No surprise here. We got um, four is here for stability. The yellow energy I'm just getting as being a lot of great happiness. I do see it as a ma magician, Gemini yellow. Speaking to you and another person who have successfully manifested union. This is also a twin flame card. So with this coming out as the very first card, a lot of you are, um, and it's almost unbelievable but it is believable because it's here in my hand. Um, and the fact that um, I, I took part in this, in this coming together. Um, of course, you all done the work, but for me to be able to be here to present this in this way, doing the cards that I do, being the leader, spiritual guidance, Everything that I try to uh, do on a daily basis to support and to help, I can just, I can feel the love that's in all of this. And I'm just very grateful to be a part of this. Um, but Twin Flame Union, very likely for some of you here. And if that's so, congratulations for whatever union. Congratulations. This is so pretty. Four ones. Wands is your energy. Uh, and then also Sagittarius, Aries, and a Fucus. The 11 energy, which is even more dope that this is a fire card. 11th house energy of Aquarius is present here. That's your polarity energy there. So I do feel that this may be also too, speaking to the specialness between you and another person, and just the unique rarities that um, you have from within yourselves, but also what it is that you do share. This is so pretty. Each of you having Leo traits very strongly, each of you both having Aquarius traits very strongly. And this coordinating and coming together on a foundation of stability. Fours is also Cancerian energy as well, fourth house energy. So you may be seeing fours, you may be seeing elevens, ones. And I just see like a, like a walk to, to the home. 
sharing a home, walking through the threshold after accomplishing something pretty major here and bringing some great success into really coming together with another person here. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh my God, okay, I don't even wanna go to the next cards. <laughs> We'll see what your second card is. That's so pretty. All right, who's getting married? Who's getting married? Who's getting proposed to? Something. We got the Hero Fine card here. This is a contract card. This is a loyalty energy here. This is also great spirituality. It's the counterpart energy to the High Priestess. We do have that two energy there. The High Priestess being a two card in the Major Arcana. This is a card of five in the Major Arcana. I'm also getting Virgo, but I do see a gold and silver key. I'm just seeing this as concrete evidence and divine union being present right here and this being a great spiritual connection between you and your soulmate. Coming into agreement, saying I do, having the keys, Receiving the keys, being blessed with the keys. I just see, I see you both as these keys, each of you. One of you is the silver key, one of you is the gold key. Typically, I would get this overall energy as being a particular person. And this could be a particular person that is a part of that proposal energy that I was getting. Wow, this is amazing. Um, but I do get... This just being divine here, blessing a union that has been designed and fated to come together in this lifetime. Honor, commitment, trust. The color orange could be significant. I do see fire colors in here. So that just bringing me back to um, you and another person. You and your... I'm here, don't just be calling my bad another person. That's my love. That's the love of my life. <laughs> You and the love of your life here coming together and making it happen. This is initiation and action here too with the fire energy that's present in that four of wands here. This is so pretty. This is even speaking to even more of a strong foundational structure that's being built upon between two as a commitment. Wow. And I see the representation now that I'm getting more of this um, and what I was saying about it possibly being a person. If it is a person that you're picking up for yourself, I do see that two energy being held right there, speaking to how this here front has the back of their high priestess counterpart energy, which is the energy from within them. So loving self and then extending that love and that being about a physical manifestation between two people. Oh, I'm about to start crying to people. That's so sweet. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get to your next card. That's bomb. Taurus energy, fifth house energy. And this is also Leo energy here too with the five representation. Wow. Which one are you? I just, I feel it's a blend of both you and this person. Excuse me, both you and the love of your life. <laughs> And these two cards here. And it's not to be taken lightly. I know I'm laughing, but I really feel the depths of how much this love really truly um, is being felt and how far it really can go. I personally don't feel that coming from you because only you know how you really truly feel from within. But I do get that this is a very deep, intense, emotional love here with a lot of care. Let's see what the next card is. Oh my gosh. All right, we have the Ten of Swords. So, I feel that this is about um, being taken off the market. No longer being uh, a selection. It ain't even, because even if you were single, I, I really feel with how extensive how intense, that's the word, how intense the connection is here. Even if you were single, you're not single. 
<laughs> um, and this just brings me to, I was kind of speaking this out into the universe the other day and how, you know, just growing up and how you, or I shouldn't say you, I'll speak for myself and I'll just speak on what I concluded for myself. And if this resonates with you, wonderful. But I have a belief that, you know, there is one person specially made for another person. And that just because there's, you know, a million people out there doesn't mean that, you know, it's designed for everyone to mesh and to come along and to intermingle and say, oh, well, if you don't work out, then I'll just go do this and this and this and find this person. No, I don't, I don't believe in that. And I firmly believe that's part of the reason why I do these cards is to share that light. And that if you do believe that there is one true person out there for you, continue to believe in that because that's your truth. And if you want that to be for you and what exists for you, and your love, and your life, and your light, so be it. Nobody can take that away from you. And that's what I'm getting here. Two people who were specifically created and designed for one another in this lifetime as soulmates, who have been past life soulmates. Repping in the same damn way is also what I'm getting. Have found and discovered one another and because of this, it's bringing heartbreak and heartache, a lot of pain to others that they may have been involved with. They're just being, I feel too, in this discovery, there's no more pain for either of these two. Where they're no longer searching, they're no longer going through relationships that have been very toxic, that have been very hurtful, that have been all about discovery and really wanting that true love and not really getting it. And I feel that this is the end of that with this Ten of Swords. This being the end of all of that. And moving into a new beginning that has a strong foundational structure. In agreement, in love, in commitment, with loyalty, honor, spirituality, trust, harmony. and faith there's so much here to support a new foundation and because of that again i just feel it's bringing about some real intense pain um painful endings for others who may have thought or may have tried or may have tried to do something to be a part of either of you and your the love of your life <laughs> lives um but then also this being about no longer having to go through this anymore. This looks really painful. Tens are about endings. Also Capricorn energy. Capricorn being ruled by Saturn. Saturn also being a ruler for Aquarius. And I feel that all ten of these swords is like a mixed bag where each of you, you and your, the love of your life, your special person here could take an arrangement of swords and, and give a story to one another on each. Like you could play a game with this. This is how much you guys have both been through this. I'm getting, um, but just picking, you know, a certain number of swords, however many swords you pick out, that's the story that you're going to tell and be able to share with one another to be able to connect and, and to relate even more. It's the pain that has brought you together which is like a oxymoron. All right, and then swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I'm getting it could be a Gemini, strong, strong Gemini or Libra energy. I'm not getting a lot of Aquarius. Um, that may have taken place Possibly a uh, dark night of the soul, something that's taking place in the night, discovered at night. You'll know what resonates for you. Let's see what the next card is. Your fourth card. We have the Ten of Cups. 
is coming underneath the four of wands. Cups is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a Fucus. This is the, the Team Dream Supreme Network energy that I was getting between you and the love of your life. Agreement. Holding hands, sharing this cup, this Ace of Cup and this new beginning. Again, tens are about endings coming into new beginnings. This ten breaks down to a one. We have a one and a one here. You have one, 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 one. There's ones all over the place. Speaking to a very fresh, lively, loving, vibrant, high vibrational new beginning here that has a lot of happiness and joy. And it only increases and adds to the harmony that was being picked up with that four of wands there. Masculine and feminine in agreement to honor, love, and cherish one another. Why do I feel like... <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing two together here. Interesting, interesting feelings here and vibe. Um, this definitely may be about a proposal that's coming through. But something ending that was very painful. Now we have this wonderful, new, cherished, grand, emotionally fulfilling beginning. The rainbow energy. You may be seeing rainbows if you see a rainbow. Congratulations. It's the promise of a new day and it speaks to uh, spirit, letting you know that they've seen everything that you've experienced and what you've gone through and it has not been for naught. And there is a promise of a new that is going to be very fulfilling. I do feel for a lot of you it's happening right now and coming into fruition. Um, it's just a matter of you continuing on in this and really enjoying and embracing it. So pretty. So, so pretty. I love these cards, too, because they're so old school. They remind me of, like, the late 60s and 70s, early 70s. I'm also getting Sesame Street and how the art used to be with that show as well. That could be significant. Or just art in general. Um... Yeah, and as I say that, the, there's nine cups that are going across that, that rainbow ray, those chakra rays. This is Kundalini here, too. And I see this rainbow going this way towards the future of a new wish fulfillment between you and the love of your life here, sharing love, a lot of great love. And it's reciprocal, it's equal, it's fair, it's balanced, it's just very harmonic that's so pretty i'm seeing cheers here too and this almost like it's in the midst of that portal going towards that home the representation and how this is all aligning here is super pretty that's so pretty um before i move on i do notice that the feminine energy is coming from the um, east direction, east being about initiation and action, the west direction is the masculine energy, and that being about transformation. Being in the south energy of ripening, ripening means it's happening. North energy is refining energy. So this is hard work paying off after trial and error, going through this here to get to this here. Refining time after time and not giving up, continuing to go, continuing to believe, continuing to have faith that there is someone out there designed and made just for you who has all the love from within, just like you do. And just like you don't want to see hurt and pain from others intentionally. There's someone out there just like that. For Like just everything that you've been saying about yourself. I just feel this is about you finding that person that matches you. This is so sweet. So divine. All right, let's see what your, <laughs> what your next card is. Your fifth card. All right, who's got cancer energy in their chat? 
So this is giving me the bodyguard vibes. Uh, this is carrying on as the bodyguard. Um, and I'm not getting anything else but that. The Six of Swords is about moving away from what does not serve you. Um, but for sure, with me doing, just doing the Cancer reading, right before this reading and this energy being present here, I do get this as the hair front energy, that person energy I was getting as being this person here who's helping the feminine energy to move away from toxicity. It could be too, what I'm getting is that you're both helping one another to move away from what does not serve, to move away from choppy waters. You've been helping each other soulfully and then as that's continued, you both have been coming closer and closer together physically and realizing this in bits and pieces. That's what I was getting with the swords and just being able to pick a certain amount and speak on this. And you could probably even speak on times where you may have interacted throughout those times too, or where you may have recognized one another, but not really known why the presence or why your presence was there. So being able to recollect and share on this here too, but doing this amongst more calmer waters here. And then here's the, exactly what I was saying here, like the bits and pieces of what you can pick out and what stories you can tell with each of these swords, given the experience of what's happened here with the Ten of Swords, what it is that you may be taking or leaving the lessons, the healing of a Four of Swords, lessons from a Two of Swords, or just this just being two individual Ace of Swords and two people taking each of their swords of truth in this agreement of harmony, love, union, contract, loyalty, commitment, and moving away. There's the home energy I was getting here. Some of you could be moving in together or just deciding to take action to move on and forward together. It's together, 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 together in every single one of these cards, even in this painful card here too. This is so pretty. Swords is more air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is wonderful. Six of energy is that Virgo energy I was picking up on with the V there, the Roman numeral five. Six house energy of Virgo is present here. And I do see that five connected to a one of a new start. And this being about that magician from within both of you here, where I was getting the yellow magician energy there and making this happen. New contract. Here front has the high priestess's back. I do feel you both speak in a very um, meticulous way here too. You communicate very intelligently to where you know what that communication is between you two. And I feel that that's also speaking to the rarity of the soulmate connection where someone was made for you. Only that person's gonna know what that stuff means and vice versa. And how special is that? Because you, I mean, whatever it is that you desire and you ask for, if that's what you want, you shall have it. For reals. Let's see what your last card is. I'm going to scoot these over. And I feel like this is um, what is being moved away from here. <laughs> for sure. Um, given that this is also coming underneath that ten of swords there. Look at all these swords. That's a lot of swords, a lot of airy mental energy, um, mind games, head games, head space, um, integrity with the sword of truth. There being very little truth, uh, limited ways of being and thinking here too, moving away from this here too. But getting away from these cycles here is what I'm getting. Because that really, to be honest, as much as these cards are a part of this reading, the energy is wanting to be like this. Where I feel that this is speaking to what it is that you and the love of your life are actually moving away from. These two cards come together to create an 18 that gives the moon energy of where I'm getting. It's like almost connected to the lower vibrational energy of secrecy, deception, Lies, betrayal, stuck energy, not wanting to move on, not caring to make the choice to move on. I'm even seeing too that, um, wow, 
one role could be feminine, one role could be masculine. And the result um, of why it is that you both have come together, this being what you both have left behind, where you may have found each of these, like this could be pertaining to the masculine, this could be pertaining to the feminine and what she dealt with. Dealing with an energy who always felt stuck or was always limited. I just, I feel it's a combination of both and what you both dealt with from within individuals in relationships and through trial and error is the energy of being closed-minded, feeling stuck, having a set way of thinking and not thinking outside of the box. And that's totally opposite of the Aquarian way. And so I feel that's the polarity energy where I'm picking up your bravery and courage is to, is to really feel and to know beyond that and to really tap into that galactic energy and know that you can do whatever it is that you want to do. The possibilities are endless. And so drifting away from this energy here, being stuck or just being a part of energies that just want to be a part of a Ten of Swords and then start all over again, only to end in another Ten of Swords. The one thing we have missing here is the Nine of Swords. And I feel that that's speaking to the mind games, uh, playing with uh, people's minds. It's too much. It's too much to e for me to even talk about. Like, it's making my head hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Um, eight energy of Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio person. And then with the 10 energy, could be a Capricorn person that's there too. Uh, could also be an Aries person with that 10 breaking down to a one. And then with the eight energy also being represented by Saturn, could be Aquarius energy or Capricorn here too. Mars and Capricorn with the red and then the Capricorn energy or I'm seeing Taurus and Scorpio energy here. So someone really being stuck and just stability being important here with the four. You and the love of your life here really taking action to decide to move away from this because you realize what you have here where you don't have to participate in that. I even feel like this may be like the exes wanting to be in the way. So I think we're going to get um, a couple more cards here and see what we have coming up next here. Almost like through one round of coming together, you got one X. And you even have the X as the Roman numeral 10. And then you get through that block, get into the, you know, the, the onset of this beauty here. And as you're doing this, the other X. <laughs> um, so that could resonate for some of you in that way. Let's see what we got for your next card here. Wow. We got the tower. And you know what that tower is? You see those two people? It's these two energies right here that I was just speaking on. Possibly the exes. Take what resonates though. If I'm, you know, if that's being spoken, there's a very strong chance that it's going to be exactly what just came out of my mouth. Um, but we have the tower here. This being a card of 16. This is that six energy, and there's a 10 energy. Being done with the toxic ways, the, the repetitive cycles, going through certain partnerships and relationships to try to find, to try to find, when the answer has been from within all along. This being a, a tower moment of discovery, but then also being a tower moment because you and the love of your life have decided to come together and form this beautiful block of union stability here and leave behind what does not serve being the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. No, thank you. And um, I feel that, you know, this is like a mind blowing event here for these two individuals who may be, I'm getting very much, uh, could be uh, very much in their head have egotistical ways. It's just being a part of the stuck, the block energy, the repetitive, the repetitiveness of the sore cycles and the hurt and the pain. And this possibly being an opportunity for an awakening moment for each of these people, if this was about those two people, but this is busting this down. 
That's another reason I'm also getting a very close alignment to the Cancer energy. They do have that energy of a dam that has been busted down. And once that, that dam gets broken, all that water just comes flushing through. And it's going to, like I'm just seeing it wiping out the energies of those that don't resonate with the harmony of what's designed as a foundation for true love, of honesty, everything that is represented here. If it doesn't match, if it doesn't mesh, and it's misrepresented, it's going to be brought down, brought into the waters here to be made clean. Because something's been built up for far too long. Like, I'm just seeing, like, far too long. This is going to be a long burn. Let it burn, baby. Let it burn. And the 16 comes together to create an overall seven of balance coming from the Libra energy. That makes so much sense because I I almost didn't use this background because of the pink. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to follow my guidance. I'm sure this pink is going to come through in the reading in the way that it's supposed to. And sure enough, it is. Pink is a color for Libra. So I just feel that this is about overall energy of restoration of balance, blocks being removed, so that this formation of this union can come together and true love can really be um, enjoyed and embraced by who it is that you manifested as the true love of your life. Your dream person who was meant for you and only you and no one else but you. Because if that's what you've asked for and what you've wished for, by all means, you deserve that. And it could be that these energies wanted you to believe that you didn't. Psych. Psych. Two of Cups on the bottom. All right. Well, enjoy your, your wonderful, powerful union of a connection here. I just see this as the fruition and the physicality of this Two of Cups coming from this Ten of Cups sipping and enjoying life, seeing eye to eye, equality, face to face, sharing cup, sharing a beautiful cup that I feel it's like, this is almost speaking to the magic from within you both here. This is the overall spiritual message here that's coming from that spirituality from divine here with the two. This is the two of cups here. We're going to, I'm going to move forward here. Um, that's not my playlist. I don't know what happened there, but we're just going to stop it right there because I do feel that this is a part of that Ten of Sword and Eight of Sword interference here. Um, great partnership. I mean, this Two of Cup is everything that I've been speaking on from this Four energy here. And again, that Two energy being held by Divine here. Speaking to the Two of Cups, but I do feel that this is speaking to the representation of having one another's back. The Hierophant and the High Priestess right here in this Two of Cups card. Sharing love, sharing cups. You love to sip. You may love to, hey, someone buying you a drink. Something here where there's a coming together here. This is so powerful. Like my eyes twitching. This is a very powerful moment and a very powerful reading. Um, whoever this resonates for, congratulations. This is superb. This is superb. It's divine all across the board. Like, I almost can't even get myself together to even speak on the rest of this because it's so strong. It's just a lot of love. It's a lot of well-deserved love between two hardworking people who have done the work, who are being blessed with a beautiful union that they rightfully deserve to enjoy given what it is that they've experienced with that Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Tower coming down to bring this through. Success. You manifested this. Congrats, congrats, and more congrats. This is great love, soulmate love and partnership. Saying I do. Even if you don't get married or that's not what you believe in, it's strong union and agreement, contract. That's coming together. Loyalty and commitment. Being able to really enjoy one another. 
in the way that you've been manifesting. All blocks removed. Leo Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I'm about to start crying. <laughs> I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Cheers to love. I channeled your title as Pure Bliss. I don't remember when I did it. It might have been last week or the week before. And it hasn't changed. And it was all caps. And that's what it's going to be still. I love you all so much. Again, take great care. Peace.